Hey, it's Nick here for Into Boxing, and I am delighted to be joined by Peter McGrail. First of all, Peter, how are we? I'm all good, lad. How are you? I'm not too bad, thanks for asking. Just had the press conference there ahead of your fight Saturday night. How was that experience for you ahead of uh, headlining the show Saturday? Yeah, yeah, it was decent, obviously, being on a few press conferences before, but never had it. Um, <coughs> just like have one with you and your opponents, and obviously, yeah, it's good experience, and um, just looking forward to Saturday now. Doesn't get much bigger than this, does it? Headlining a, a show in your home city of Liverpool. No, it doesn't. It's uh, it's, it's brilliant to, to be doing this on my fifth fight. It's, um, it's what I've been working all my life for. Do you know what I mean? And what I'll be continuing uh, to be doing until I become a world champion and eventually see where it goes from there. But with um, yeah, with, with, with Saturday night it's a, it's going to be a great night of boxing. We've got obviously got me in a ten rounder against Alexander Espinosa. We've got Jazza for the world title. And uh, there's a lot of other scouts on the card who uh, I've trained alongside in Sheffield, my me, me, me good friend uh, Blaine Ireland, my little brother Joe McGrail, Frankie Stringer, boxed on a few bills with him, uh, and, and John Edel, he's on it as well. So th there's a uh, good few scouts and uh, the crowd's going to be roaring for, for us all, it's going to be a belter. I was just saying that to Jazza there, it seemed like that in the press conference as well, like everyone's got each other's backs and they're all raring for everyone just to get that W Saturday night. Yeah, a million percent with the scouts, we all, we all get behind each other, do you know what I mean? And even though we're all from different gyms, we, 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 all, um, we all want each other to win, do you know what I mean? We all, we all support each other on that and it's going to be a, a great night for us all, hopefully on Saturday. Let's go to your opponent, Alexander Espinosa. He's experienced. Have you managed to see much of him online and study him? Are you that type of fighter that studies their opponents themselves, or do you leave that to your team? Yeah, uh, personally, I, uh, I leave that to my team. Me. Um, I feel like if there's something I need to know, that Paul and Anthony, my coaches, they'll have me working on it in the gym. They'll, um, they, they'll tell me, do you know what I mean? They, they, there's certain tactics I need to know. They'll have me work. They'll be working on it with me, or tell me to work to work on it. If obviously I'm not on the pads or or such, and um, I probably might have a little watch of him the day before the boxing. Do you know what I mean? Probably have a little watch of him tomorrow or even the day off just to see how what he comes out like. Uh, I just know he's orthodox. I know he's uh, got more experience than me in the pro ring. Had 20, 121, lost there uh, for drawn two. So it's a. Uh, it's going to be my, my toughest fight to date, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm fully ready and, and, and uh, I fully believe I'm going to be coming away with a win. You step up to 10 rounds, the first uh, 10 round of your career. I know you alluded to it up there in the press conference here, hoping it's not going to go 10 rounds because you stopped your last three opponents. Um, so is that, is that the plan for Saturday night? Um, yeah, million percent. It's, uh, I believe any professional boxer, any professional boxer getting in the ring, they, uh, we're going for the knockout, you know what I mean? They, they, them early nights, they, they feel good, don't they? It's just, um, obviously, it's, it's an easier night's work, innit? So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm coming for. It's, it's, what, I'm, it's what we go for every fight, and um, I believe I can get this against Espinosa. Now, Sam Jones alluded to up there in the press conference as well about, and he spoke to me earlier about how fast he wants to move you. You know, he's looking at titles for yourself next year. Is that music to your ears? Is that exactly where you want to be? Yeah, a million percent. Uh, that's what I want to do as soon as I could. Uh, start collecting, start collecting some belts and climbing the rankings. And I believe I'm ready to do that now. Do you know what I mean? So I just leave all that down to my team, down to Brabella, my management team, my coach Paul and Anthony. And, and I believe they're they're going to guide me career in the um, in the right direction. And all I can do is make sure I'm 100 percent on fight night. Which it will become Saturday and uh, just keep getting the win and I'll start uh, collecting some belts and racking up some titles very soon. Is there any belt in particular that you look at and you go, would love that once the one day in my career? Yeah, obviously, uh, when, from a young age, you always see that green belt, don't you? You see like the pictures of Mayweather from years ago and he's got loads of them and that. But um, I just, um, obviously, the WBC belt, but I also like the, um, I like the, what's that, the other one? The, the red one, the IBF, I like the colour of that, but it's um, it's it doesn't really matter, does it, which um, organisation it's with. It's just I want to climb the rankings and um, and and get to that number one spot. You mentioned earlier as well, fighting on uh, the same bill as your brother, and that family affair for you up here on Saturday night must be made up for both of you been on the same bill and like you alluded to there in the press conference you both gone through training camp together and pretty much done everything together this camp yeah, um, this is our third fight now together on the same bill and um, obviously my first headline in the bill so it's great to have him on the undercard and um, 
Yeah, like you said, we've done everything together in Tainer camp. We, 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 do, we do pretty much anyway, but there's been some fights where he's boxed on a different show, or I've boxed on a different show, like I boxed in Dubai. So instead of like, instead of me, I don't know, instead of him or me eating a pizza and the other one's dieting, we're doing it all together, do you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, it's just boss, it's, it's great. We do literally do everything together, running weights. Uh, obviously, we're in the gym every morning with all of the lads, and, uh, and then we fight on the same night. And, we just scrammed together for the few days after our fight, you know what I mean? So it's just it's, uh, it's good times and in years to come we're, we're going to look back and, and just remember nights like this and, and even like training camps like this, you know what I mean? And just uh, know that all the sacrifices that we make throughout training camp and that, know that it's, it's all worth it. Final message from yourself, have you got a message for your friends, family, sponsors, supporters, everyone who's going to be here Saturday night or tuning in? Yeah, just uh, everyone who bought tickets off me and um, everyone who's going to be in here, whether they have bought tickets off me or any of the other scouts, just all, all get behind me and all, and all the lads fighting because it, it, it does help and that we will be able to wear them in the Olympia and if you haven't got tickets, get tickets and if not, you can watch it online on uh, probellum.com or the YouTube, it's going to be a, uh, going to be a good night of boxing. Peace, my grail. Thank you very much for giving into boxing some of your time. We wish you all the very best Saturday night. Sounds. Thank you very much. I hurt all the girls that I fight, but I will come out victorious. Not taking till I become the spirit middleweight champion of the world. This is another moment that my hand would be risen. I've fully prepared myself for a war.